Hi BC fam, it's your girl Shan here and I'm going to show you how to take your natural 4C thick hair and turn it from this into a nice sleek natural looking ponytail. Yeah, I'm doing the most here. I was super this style, so I can't wait to show you. Now the things that you're going to need for this tutorial are a rat tail comb. This is going to be used for parting. You're going to need two brushes, one hard surface brush, <laughs> and a soft one. One paddle brush to brush through your hair. Some water to soften up your hair and make it easier to slick down. You're going to need your Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, which is leave-in two scrunchies. Make sure they're the elastic kind without the metal to protect your hair. And the most important part, the Eco Style Professional Styling Gel in olive oil. Now as you can see, my hair is already parted into threes just to make it manageable. And I'm going for a side part look, so I'm just going to make sure that that part is a little bit straighter. And clearly doing the most with my hair. Now my hair felt a little bit dry, so I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm just going to dampen my hair a little bit more just so it's easier to work with. And I'm going to pull it together. I'm going to take my paddle brush and brush from the ends all the way up to the root. Now this is the best way to brush through your natural hair or any hair because it causes less damage and less breakage. So now I'm just going to be putting the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture all over my hair. Again, this is just another way to add more security to my hair before actually putting the gel. And I actually got this from a YouTuber because I used to just use deep conditioner. And now I'm going to start putting the gel in. And this is again the Eco Styling Gel with the olive oil. Just because it's a little bit safer than the regular one. And I'm going to put that all over my hair. I'm just going to take my brush and smooth down the hair, well brush through the hair, and make sure that it's pretty flat. Any flyaways I'll be able to catch when I pull it back into an actual ponytail. And now you're going to do the same to the other side. I'm spraying it down again and I'm taking my curl enhancing smoothie and putting it all over my hair for that extra layer of protection. And then I'm going to brush through it and put the Eco Styler Gel on top to lay it flat. Now I'm going to take my hard brush and just brush it down all over just to make sure that I didn't miss any pieces. I'm going to take my time here and then I'm going to take two scrunchies just to reinforce it because my hair is really thick and I'm going to place it into a ponytail and like I said just to make sure that I caught every piece of it slick it down and put it in a ponytail. And now we can start working on the front. So I'm going to follow the same steps as before. I'm going to spray my hair with the spray bottle. And combing my fingers through it, I realized that it was a lot of hair. So I'm going to part it into two. And follow the same steps of brushing it out with the paddle brush. And then putting the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then the gel. Now, you're going to see that I put a lot of the enhancing smoothie here just because this is where I get the most breakage in my hair. So I just wanted it to be a little bit more secure. And I'm going to take the hard brush after this and just brush through and make sure that it's flat. This is actually the easiest part to work because the majority of the hair is already pinned back. And I'm going to follow the same steps with the last bit of hair that's left. I'm going to brush it out because I already sprayed it with the spray bottle and just put like I said a lot of enhancing smoothie and gel and the reason for this being is you want it to look as flat as possible so you're gonna have to put a little bit more product in there because your hair is either curly or thick or whichever one and you need it to lay flat now I'm gonna take my soft brush and just brush through it the front of my head is a little bit sensitive so I don't like to brush too hard on it and then I'm going to go and reinforce it with the hard brush and grab my scrunchie and put it back. Now don't worry about the little pieces that are hanging out because of the length. You're going to gel those down 
and be able to slip them back. So I'm just going to brush it through a little bit more. As you can see, still a couple of flyaways, so I'm going to grab a little bit more gel, and then I'm going to slick it back. And now we can wrap it. Now obviously you're going to have a lot of time on your hands because you want to make sure you do this in a timely manner so that it has enough time to actually rest underneath and tighten underneath your scarf. So you're going to do what you got to do to keep yourself busy or just sit around. Normally I'd be doing my makeup but I did it before the video. My brother actually wanted to make a cameo so there he is. He was visiting from the service. And now we can finally take it out. And the hair is laid, finally. So now I'm going to take my Motown Tress half a wig slash ponytail. And I'm just going to show you the combs that are in it. It actually comes with three combs. There's going to be one large comb at the top. And then two small ones at the bottom. And don't forget it comes with the drawstring. Which adds a little bit more reinforcement to it. So I'm just tightening it because I don't need a half a wig, I need a ponytail. And I'm going to start from the bottom combs, push it all the way up, pull the drawstring out, and then clamp the top of the ponytail. And I'm just going to make sure that that's tightly secured. And pull on the drawstring just to make sure that it's as tight as can be. So now I'm going to take the drawstring and a piece of hair and just start wrapping it around. And this again is going to make it even more tighter. And then I'm going to take myself a bobby pin, open one, and just press it in and make sure that the drawstring and the hair is tightly tucked in. And there you have it, your sleek, natural ponytail. Oh, and don't forget to tune in next week where Ness will be back with me and we'll be doing our Maybelline review. Bye!